welcome back to my channel. This is Okwe Iyomi's lifestyle here today. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Thank you for clicking on this channel today. I'm very, very hyped and pumped right now because I'm going to be telling you guys about myself. I'm going to, um, it's just, this is like a get to know me video. So I would like to go right to the video. I have 25 questions here on my book. I'm going to be answering them. And then I'm going to be chipping in some, you know, chismes that is just in some of the uh, questions. So I'm going to move right into the video now. What is your full name? My full name is Odetude Mireko Okoyemi. I'm actually 24 years old. I was born in January 3rd, 1998. So I'm 24 years old now. Share your favorite subject in high school. My favorite subject in high school was physics and for the mass. <laughs> I know. People always be like, why would for that mass be your first subject and all? But I love for that mass because it's really like step by step by step if you don't get it you can start again i don't really like the challenge of starting again sometimes so, but I, I don't know why that was just my best subject i pass it well but then i fail it well too so i just like it maybe because it's depending on the teacher again i guess so i'm going to stop here because i forgot to use my mic my mic is here and i forgot now i have to start again <clears throat> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Okoyemi's Lifestyle. Thanks to those that are just clicking on this video and those that are returning subscribers. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. Do well to uh, click on the thumbs up button and also subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. You can also click on the bell. So that you are going to be getting notifications from me whenever I post a video. So, as you can tell by the title of this um, video, I'm going to be talking about myself mostly. You guys are going to get to know me and know a little bit about me. So, let's get right into the video. There is a book here. There's a guide here. I'm about. I'm going to follow. So, I'm going to be looking at the. I'm going to be looking at the ground or at this place. So that I can actually follow the guide throughout this video. Now, what is my full name? My full name is Odetunde Miracle Okpayemi. I am actually from Oyo State. I am um, 24 years old. I was born in January 3rd, 1998. So that's it about me. I'm the first one of my family. And then we are actually four. That is four children, two boys and two girls. So, now, share your favorite subject in high school. In high school, I actually, I was, I'm a science student, so I liked physics and further math. Don't ask me why, because I guess it, it has to do with the teacher that was teaching us, Mr. Alaka. I remember him. He was not, it was, he was strict, but I just love the way it teach. For that math was just my best subject. Even though I'm not that good, you know, best subject doesn't mean the one you are passing all the time. Best subject is the one that you can actually relate to and just just like the vibe in the class. So I love physics, I like for that math. So what is your favorite color? My favorite color actually is color purple and sky blue. Sky blue. So that is my best color. The reason why I did that is because I'm outside actually and the sky is it's like an open space. So, sky blue. What is your favorite animal? Actually, my favorite animal is a dog because I actually love dogs. I just love them. If anyhow, whatever the, the, uh, the breed is, the only dog breed I don't like is dogs are maybe chihuahua because i just don't 
I just don't like them. They feel pampered and they feel, I feel like they are the, they are the, what do they call it? If dogs they community, right? They will be the proudest one there, just like that. I don't know, I'm just joking, but those are the, my least favorite dogs. What is your favorite holiday? Actually, my favorite holiday was when I went to Alamino City, Pangasinan, 100 Island. So I have a video already that I already posted before all this. I was supposed to do this video, Abby. You guys are supposed to get to know me before I post all those videos. But, you know, I'm doing my stuff. I just remember this week that, oh, I have to let you guys get to know me and know some things about me so that's why i'm doing this video so the get back to the question the my favorite holiday was when i went to alaminos pangasin and 100 island it was really fun you can watch the, the video there in my if you go to my channel it's there um do you speak any different languages yes i do speak a different language apart from english i speak yoruba I speak French because the, um, I was taught French for, I think, for six years. I learned French. In, it was like a part of the curriculum in primary school and secondary school. So I know how to speak French. I know how to speak German. I actually learned German here in the Philippines. Um, it was like a one semester course. So, But I understand German. And then I speak Tagalog. Kontelan, which is just a little. I speak Ilocano, Kontelan, Mabisina Kon. <laughs> that is, I'm hungry. Uh, Kontelan, and then I speak my dialect, which is Yoruba. So, that is how many languages? English, French, German, Tagalog, Ilocano, Yoruba. There are six languages. So, I speak six languages. Do you have, okay, have you been out of your country? Yes, I've been out of my country. I'm actually a Nigerian and I'm currently in the Philippines. I plan and hope that I'll be able to travel as wide as this world is, as broad as my shoulder or my wings can carry me. I'm going to travel around the world, inshallah, in God's, God's willing, in the name of Jesus. So, um, have you ever met a celebrity? Actually, when I think about it now, actually I've met a celebrity. You know, okay, let me take, give you this story time. On that day that I was supposed to come to the Philippines, right? That was in 2018, December. Uh, me, my daddy, the whole family was in the car and then we were stuck in the old dorm. And then in that old dorm, it was not like the main road it was like because there was a dope in the main road so everybody was passing a shortcut which is like a street but that street also have like third road so the street can only take i think two cars or something like that but you know Lagos driving now so the two this thing is just going so you know there's so and fro they are just going one way so on that in that order, we we're stuck in the order, and then my dad just wind down, and then he noticed that the other car beside him also wind down, and then come to think of it, it was one address in Nigeria. I don't know her name. I think I'm going to have to Google it and put a picture there. She's like a Yoruba actress. We spoke for a while, and my daddy was the one actually excited because I didn't knew her, but I didn't find her like that. So my daddy was like, oh, this is not what this old is even now. Ah, omoyi, omoyi man, kiyi. We had to peep and now so. So that's kind of like a met a celebrity, I guess. So yes, I have met a celebrity. What is the last movie you cried to? The last movie I cried to. Oh, I love movies. Ah, why women kill? Actually, I just watched the movie, so. I I cried. <laughs> I don't know why I cried. I don't know. My emotions are just off. I just don't understand. But that, that was the last movie I cried. So, which movie do you last watch? Oh, which is correct to what I just said. 
that's the movie I just watched. Uh, why women kill. And then, have you ever cheated that is in a relationship? No, I have never cheated in a relationship. If I'm done, I'm done. I'm not going back. And then, if I'm done and I don't tell you, I'm still not going back. <laughs> like, I'm used to ghosting people or... I might not actually break up, break up with you, but I am done. So, it's not that as cheating though. So that's just me. I don't feel like explaining. You know what to be wrong. So on to the next one. What is your biggest fear? Ah. My biggest fear actually is to do all this in vain. That is academic, spiritual life or whatever. I don't want to do anything in vain. I want to like do it um like now i'm doing it for a purpose right i want that purpose to be the purpose or even greater i don't want it to be like less or something um i don't know if you guys are understanding me but that's just my biggest fear i don't want to do anything in vain what's the talent nobody knows you have actually people in my family know i have this talent which that is just my mom my dad my siblings know i have this talent I can actually, I'm actually, uh, I can do a, I can portray a MC. I can, uh, what do they call it? Is it O Steven? It's like MC though. That's what I'm trying to do. So that's like my talent. Um, what do you miss about being younger? What do I miss about being younger? I miss, I miss not, um, uh, having to think about food or money or you know i miss just playing with the free mind i miss the innocence i miss i miss just having someone to actually take care of you and then actually genuinely take care of you that's what i mean what's the most most trouble you have been in what is the most trouble i've been oh okay oh, this is <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be a story time. Well, the most trouble I've actually been in is um, repeating what I add from someone to somebody and then the person going to confront another person or going to not confront though. The person going to meet the person and then telling just like them say, them say, them say and then everything is like backfiring and all the stuff so that's the most of trouble i have been in coffee or tea coffee i do, before i love tea but now i feel like coffee is like best because i don't like milo anymore and i can't drink tea with only milk oh i actually love um tea bag using tea bag so when they say coffee or tea i think that is preference which is coffee just coffee um not black coffee i don't like black coffee so how many relationships have you been in i wrote this thing <laughs> oh god oh. i was glad i wrote it okay how many relationships have i been in technically i've been in only two relationships but if we are going to talk about long distance and all those phone call relationship and all, I have been in continent, five relationships. So that's including my secondary school um, relationship and all. So um, have you had a tattoo? No, I have not had a tattoo. Where would you like it to be? But I would actually love to have a tattoo in remembrance of my dad. My dad is late, so I'm surely going to get the tattoo very, very, very soon. Um, where would you like it to be? I would like it to be here, my shoulder or in my hand. Yeah, my shoulder or my hand. That's where I would like it to be. And then, what is the best part about being your age? 
And I remember having my age that you can do anything. You are literally free to do anything. You can make your decisions. And even when you fail, you can get back up and try again. There is no failing anywhere except to quit. So the best thing about being my age is that you can do whatever you want to do and make so many decisions. And then this is the age whereby you um, prepare for your future. So it is actually literally the best, best thing about my, being my age. What is your worst injury? Hmm. Actually, my worst injury was uh, when I broke my hand when I was little. I broke my I broke my bone when I was little. So um, I carried a cast like this for months. I think it was up to six months or maybe over a year. I'm not sure, but it was a very very long time. So that was my not bones take a very long time to heal. So that was my worst injury. Where will you be in five years time? Hopefully, God's feeling. I hope that I'm going to be where God, firstly, where God wants me to be because, you know, we plan. We plan and plan and plan and be like, tomorrow I'm going to be there and then maybe God doesn't want you to be there. But firstly, I would like to be wherever God wants me to be. Then secondly, I would like to be accomplished, especially in my career. I would like to be like at least, I know I'm going to be starting my career in like two years or one year. So in five years, I should be, I should be doing very good for myself career-wise, and then um, relationship-wise, I should be ah, maybe getting married, maybe getting married or married already with a kid in five years. God's willing. What is your favorite social media app? My favorite social media app. Wait, I'm not going to say YouTube. Because I actually love YouTube, but that's not my favorite. I'm not always on YouTube. So I'm going to be choosing the app I'm always on, which is TikTok and Instagram. So my favorite between TikTok and Instagram will be TikTok. Um, when was your first kiss? Okay, I'm going to say the age and then my class. My first kiss was when I was 15. It was not actually literally a kiss. It was like a peck on the lip. So when I was 15 in secondary school in SS3, that was my first kiss. There will be a story time about all these things. Or in girls talk. We are going to have a girls talk So I'm going to have a story time. So... The last question here is, are you an introvert or an extrovert? Introvert, meaning people that stay indoors or prefer to stay indoors. Extrovert meaning people that go out and want to, they are like the life of party and actually want to stay outside all the time. So I'm going to be in the middle and say I'm an ambivalent because I have similar. I have um, some characteristics of an introvert and also some characteristics of an extrovert. Sometimes, depending on my mood, I would really, really want to stay inside. And then there are sometimes also uh, I want to go outside too. As you can see from most of my vlogs, most of my um, things, the things I do is outside. So. Most things I like doing is visiting places, visiting new places, because that is something that I really, really love doing. I love visiting new places, and then if I am not able to visit new places or go out to with my friends to somewhere that is new or where I can eat, then I'm going to be inside. I'm going to be in the door watching stuff on TikTok or sleeping or watching movies that is Netflix. So we have come to the end of this video. 
Thank you for watching to this point. Thank you for the subscribers and thank you for the likes. And as you're watching this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Support me by subscribing and also turning on your post notifications so that whenever I post another video, you'll be notified about the video. Um, I'm actually going to be posting now. I'm going to be posting once a week, at least throughout this holiday. And then when the, um, I resume from, um, I resume in school because right now I'm in holiday. I'm on holiday. When I resume in school, I'm going to know, I'm going to update you guys again when I'm going to be posting. If, depending on my schedule in school. Thank you and have a nice day, besties. Bye.